start with a custom jacket painting. No big deal. Scratches it off. Dude, he is one of one. <laughs> we have Wes Goody, It's Your Boy Rhino, AKA, y'all gonna love this video. What's up everybody, it's your boy Nobo, AKA, it's your boy Nobo. Yo, what's up, it's Rob, AKA, like this video. We're gonna start thinking a little bit more about this. Yeah. Hey, I've been saving them for the next break. I'm gonna come with something good. Rob, we're right into it. Do all fifth graders think the same? I don't even remember fifth grade. Both I do, grade. but I don't. Like, I, re I remember bits and pieces. I don't even know my teacher, I couldn't tell you. My fifth grade teacher was Mrs. Wynn. Mine was Mrs. Park. She ended up marrying this really ugly guy who was like another teacher at the thing. That's what the teachers do, don't they? Yeah. They just kind of marry each other. Marry each other. They do be doing that. Because where else Where else does the teacher like go to like meet someone? I remember at my school, teachers were like hooking up with each other. Uh, now, how did you know that? Yeah, it was like know? some big scandal. Like uh, the fourth grade teacher like was hooking up with the librarian. How did that get out? Because they're like, to know I that. guess they're like holding hands or doing something in the, <laughs> in the kickball area. In a, in a gym locker room or some shit. We're just reading a book. I don't know. <laughs> We're in the library checking things out. <laughs> Just a minute, we're checking out a book. <laughs> Just reading in here. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Nah, I f with fifth grade though. I discovered cussing then. I got put in a class with a bunch of weirdos. It was me and Brandon. So it makes sense. <laughs> You and who, Brent? <laughs> Excuse me, Rob. Excuse me. It was a class of a bunch of weirdos, but I wasn't one of them. Oh, see, so you didn't say that. Part. It was me and Brandon who were the two cool kids. Oh, see. And I knew that for a fact. You should have started with that. And everyone knew that in the class. What's the Damn. point of even getting good grades in fifth grade? You already going to sixth grade. Like, you're already going. And colleges are, are looking at your high school. It's just all that stress <laughs> that I put in the fifth grade for, like, for what reason? <laughs> and it's like the fifth graders now are different than the fifth graders. I feel like we were no, cool. We were. But then again, everyone thinks their time is the coolest time, so mm -hmm. it's like, mm -hmm. all right, here we go. Jubilee, Jubilee Type A. A. Hey, look. Graders. Using bad words is okay. Three, two, one, go. Strongly agree. I'll cut some motherfucker out. You shouldn't swear, that's a common fact. But then again, you have to let your anger out some way, so. This is actually funny. His name would be Gordon. Look, so I'm gonna be the villain here. I already know I'm not gonna like this kid for the rest of the video. So anything that I say, take with a grain of salt. This motherfucker annoying me off the rip. Like, little know-it-all. Everybody knows that it's technically speaking, not, it's completely wrong to say bad words. You shouldn't swear, that's a common fact. And it's like, fifth grade is an interesting age, it's cause like, all you know is what your parents have taught you, but you're also old enough to want to like, I know this and this is the right thing to do. Yeah. When it's like, no, little kid. No, like, Gordon. When you're older, you're gonna be saying bad words. Correct. But like, all you know is this right now. This will be interesting. Using, well, words can, they have meaning and when you use them, it means something. So when you use a bad word, it means like you're angry and you're not happy. But when you need to use them, you can just scream them in your pillow, not yell them out at someone. Okay. Nice. I don't think that you should just scream into your pillow. That's just gonna bottle up your emotions. And <laughs> Gordon, <laughs> if you, Gordon, wait, this is I'm about to get pissed off. <sighs> well, they all feel like they they know, like they all know what's right. Gordon, you said your piece already. We go down the line and everyone says what they think. <laughs> what is your like? I think sometimes it's good to just let it out all in your pillow. You can just scream them in your pillow. Well, I don't think it's good to bottle it up. I don't think that you should just scream into your pillow. That's just gonna bottle up your emotions. Well, Gordon, maybe that's what works for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think, yeah, scream into your pillow. Don't always say stuff. I feel like we might find them saying some real deep stuff. Yeah. That is like really true. So I'm, I'm open to their opinions. And kids will always like be honest. They'll keep it a buck. And you. it kind of comes down to like how you, the household is and how you were raised mm -hmm. and it kind of reflects on the parents that's just gonna get worse and worse it's just gonna eventually burst and you're gonna say even more bad words than you should what if you just get a stress ball yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but that's for a specific okay. like physical yeah well you said that if somebody's like really angry so what if you just get a stress ball but it depends on the person in my opinion squishing something isn't gonna make me any happier I, somebody <laughs> let me get through this video you can tell william was already heated I William heavy. Yeah. He said, hey bro, if you're angry, get a stress ball and let your physical- Well, no, personally for me, I don't feel like stressing a stress ball would be this and that. What the, what the fuck do you- Why am I so pissed off at a fifth grader right now? Yeah. I 
William now. He said, well, how about you just get a stress ball? Mm -hmm. And Gordon Ramsay. Um, sorry if people here are not Christian, but it's against the Bible. You shouldn't swear because it can also hurt a lot of people's feelings if you swear directly at them. But <laughs> Not Gordon scooting over. I'm Christian. <laughs> you shouldn't do it. I'm Christian. <laughs> so I, I guess I'll just put in disagree. Gordon, if you don't say I, boy. I have a crush on someone. <laughs> Okay. You should not love someone when you're this, like this age. Why is he I, preaching right now? <laughs> Why are you talking like a pastor? He goes to too much church. It's like more of a mature thing. You should just like like people as friends. You shouldn't like love people like you want to marry them and stuff like that. That's like high school, college thing. It's crush. At this age, we just like have crush. We don't like love them to where we're marrying them. It's just a crush. It's the problem. This crush. It wasn't. Do you want to marry someone right now? Do you have a crush on he, someone? He got it twisted. He got it. Twisted. He was over here, fingers crossed. No, he has the right thing. to love someone. Those are for early. when you're mature and older. That's when you can love somebody and be together. Yeah, but that's not the prompt. Talk about crush. <laughs> Talk about your crush, dude. dude. We're in fifth grade. <laughs> Did you hear the prompt? <laughs> Why am I getting mad right now? Excuse me. Let me contain myself. I don't think through my crushes like that. I'm not like. I love him six. so much. Thank you, so so. I'm like, okay, I like him. Yeah. It's it's not like your choice. You can't like uh, make yourself like force to, like not like them or have a crush on them. Yeah, but that's it's a way of the heart though. Five. Thank you, Juan. Kids should be allowed to have cell phones. No, baby. Wait, actually, yeah. I strongly agree because what oh, if? Let's disagree. Let's disagree. Oh, sorry. It's okay, bro. Oh my God, he's so precious. What if you got lost and your parents said that you couldn't have a cell phone? I wouldn't be able to call anybody because I wouldn't have a cell phone. I have a phone and I use it for certain reasons, like to FaceTime my friends and like FaceTime my family and text. You're and on TikTok. <laughs> what you know, put a sock in it. You're on scrolling on TikTok. Children just they could break the cell phones. Right, and here we go. Gordon knows everything. <laughs> Why is he 37 in a fifth grade body? But also because children could just access a bunch of really inappropriate things. And Facts. And parents, technology these days, you can put child lock on your phone. That's a thing on YouTube. You can put. Child Gordon lock always wants a child. <laughs> I understand what racism is. I wish Gordon would say something. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh shit. What the? Okay. This is a saying I, I feel like I've heard many people say. It doesn't um, matter what's on the outside that counts, it's what's on the inside that counts. Yeah. Like, what does like the skin like have to like affect you by? Back in the 40s and 50s, black people and Hispanic people were being harassed by white people. No offense. And it's fine. Oh my god, it's blue on my heart, Rose. It's fine. And it's fine. They used to get water hosed. I know that black people didn't like that because what if the white people were black people and, and they were being treated like that? They don't know what it feels like. They just think that they have all the power. They can just do whatever they wanted because we were helpless. Oh my god. Holy shit. William dropping William dropping gems, gems and gems and it's like at that age like I wasn't I don't, fully informed of anything I don't think I, I think was. nowadays it's more prevalent the fact that she had to turn around and say it's okay it's actually kind of crazy That's some heavy shit I will say this they uh water down slavery and like black oppression really bad in school when you're a kid you think and they got brought on a slave boat and yeah and it was bad, yeah. But like when you actually learn to what extent oh, what terrible things oh, happen, oh. it's like, hey, I never I never knew that. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Maybe it's too scarring or too scary, but mm, Dang. I learn new stuff every day. I'm like, oh shit. But wow, William is the MVP on this video. I want my son to be like that. Like he's so mild <laughs> my mannered and nice and respectful and mm -hmm. cool. We're all the same. We're all human beings. If we're from different places, it's like we have to respect each other with the same ways of you want to be respected and people get killed just by protesting and then it just makes me so sad like they're just trying to get their own right it's a good way to put it i'm afraid of climate change you better be strongly yeah. agree on that bitch i'm right here okay so there's no point of being a 
afraid of climate change. Like you can be like concerned about it, like about the animals that live in like different climates, places, yeah. There's no point of you to be afraid because you're used to like warm weather and a little cooler weather, but you can be concerned about it. I'll take that. It's actually our fault. We're making more pollution and pollution and pollution. That's why people are switching to electric cars because I'm... gasoline is part of it. But, but people are now like changing to electricity, but still electricity is made with gas. No, I don't know what. Bro, you had me there for a Rose, his face would have happened to. But still, electricity is made with gas. And. <laughs> um, where what do? school do you go to? There's like oh. no point of being afraid. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. There's like no point of because being afraid. Because you are gonna die. <laughs> Gordon, that is true. You won't guarantee die, but you will guarantee have third degree burns, be drowned to the point where you become a fish. He knows too much, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Adults are always right. Hell no. We know that's strange. I better disagree with that shit. I don't completely disagree. I'm sure that every adult isn't always right because women are always right. <laughs> you can't have some. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, what what sort of little <laughs> slight was that? All right, Gordon Loki funny. My grandma has a daycare and one of her helpers that used to work for her, she didn't go to school, so she kind of didn't know anything. <laughs> no one's ever like right all the time. Yeah. No one's ever like right all the time. Yeah. Like no matter if you're an adult or a kid, Making friends is hard. Nick, if you don't go in your fucking, <laughs> you're in your fucking spot, boy. I'm really talkative, so I will just like go up to someone and I'll be like, hey, what's your name? And then we'll start a full-blown conversation and then we'll swap numbers. And also acting makes it a lot easier to make friends like this. Like when She seems like an actor. Someone, yeah, really well-spoken and outgoing. outgoing. Whenever I'm doing like my magic to like, like someone, I did make like quite a lot of friends and all. But it was easier because I was talking and I wasn't like talking about like other stuff, but I was talking about like what I loved and what I was doing. Juan, I'm gonna have to disagree with you. Oh my God, he respectfully you disagreed. That, you said that you did a magic trick and now people want to be your friend, right? What if you are a regular kid? Some people just want to be friends with you because you're either famous or you're rich. I know, but I wasn't rich or famous. You're really cool. So like, what if you were just like a basic kid? Whoa. Oh, oh fuck. Hey, you do magic, so that means you're cool. How about us regular kids? Do they only like you for your magic? Do you ever think about that? What if, do they like they, you they for really you? Like you? You gave them a reason to like you. Fuck, William got me fucking thinking. Did you guys have any mentality close to this? It's so that different. Fifth grade? I was not Especially when I'm like, these are like LA kids or something. Why are they like, so mature? It you only want to hang out with rich and famous. I don't even know what famous even was. No, I didn't know. I was just not. playing kickball and... Mm -hmm. I did magic and I've got a lot of friends. But did they really like you for you? <laughs> Well, I got two dudes. Really? Yeah, I was doing magic tricks to these fucking other fifth graders and they fuck with me. Wow. But in reality, friendship is really a like exchange of things. Like if someone isn't providing you what you want, you're not going to be friends. So at a certain point, it is transactional. Like yeah, yeah. if someone's super funny, oh, I like that. If someone can help you out in some way, whatever. But that, that is true. Some people do only like you for certain things. what you can do for them. I've learned that the hard way. Same. William. <laughs> William making me think, man. man. Look at his cute ass sweater. Oh my God, I might need to have a kid. Flame Family <laughs> Channel. I just be myself and I just see if, if they want to be friends with me or not because it all, it just depends on what they think of me. Sometimes I have to act to get friends. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what the f Whoa, that came out of nowhere. Yo, 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 yo. The stupid yeah. dish? Yo, yo, yo. What did she do to you? Sometimes I have to put on a mother Show. Like other people in this room. <laughs> the animosity. Oh, why dude. he do it? Let me see oh, it again. He came after her. Sometimes I have to act to get friends. That was a whole diss. Damn. What? He did not need to do that. I don't have to act or do magic. <laughs> These other losers. Sometimes I have to act. <laughs>
I Maybe said I was know. an actor and made friends that way. Did he make it too literal? Like he thought like actually she acted to get friends? I think that's what he thought. But she's an actual actress, child actress. I think he misinterpreted it and he did and took the jab. And right. maybe didn't know how to fully like execute what he wanted to say properly. <laughs> Even she was confused. Uh that's not what I meant, but okay. Go off. I don't want to grow up. I honestly want to grow up because it's like part of life. It's a scam. Don't do it. You have to do dishes. Get the buy toilet paper. I want to be like a kid, but like staying a kid forever is like being in school for a long time and like re like redoing your grades and it's like not fun. And you, if you, when you grow up, you can have a job and do what you love. I mean, yeah. technically, as long as you're good at school, if you just keep repeating the same classes. Technically, cool. not everybody. <laughs> He's the technically guy. Now. I always hated that technically mf -er. Well, technically. Well, technically, if you grow up, technically. Technically, in the life cycles, with, with the, technically speaking, you would want to be younger longer. <laughs> Boy, if you don't shut your ass. I strongly agree on not growing up because I won't have to pay any bills. Thank you. Why are you so wise? Once you grow up, you learn a lot more so you can get a job. I don't really want to grow up because at the same time, you do get older and older and you really won't have a childhood again and change is good and change can be bad, but you don't know till you do it. Okay, that was a good little wrap up. I'm, I'm, I'm that. Awesome. So that is a wrap. Did you guys have fun? Yeah! Change is good, wow. and it can be bad, but yeah, like, you won't know till you're in it. William got me like in my feelings. Bro. These kids, it kind of got deep for no reason mm -hmm. at some points too. They're growing up too quick now. They're growing up way too quick. So they're pretty well spoken, all of them. Or yeah. grade all in. Say your grade, drop your grade below. There might be some fifth graders. Bye. See ya. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. If you guys are digging the reactions and want to see more, we have a bunch more over on our other channel called Strawberry Park. So head over to the other channel and you'll see a bunch more reactions. We love doing them. We're going to keep cranking them out on this channel, but mostly on the second channel. So check it out. Love y'all.